for joining us. More than 120 firefighters, along with air tankers above, are aggressively fighting the new blaze sparked at a nursery this morning. The fire started in a mulch pile near Baker Canyon and Black Star Canyon roads in an isolated section of Silverado Canyon. CBS 2's Bobby Capel is live in Silverado Canyon now with the latest. Bobby. Good evening, Andrea. The humidity out here is a low 7%, so it is extremely dry. 90 degrees throughout the day as well. The winds have been gusting at about 10 miles an hour. I want to take you to a live look of the scene here. You can see there is white smoke billowing out behind those structures. However, we're told by the fire department those structures are not in danger. 30 acres have burned so far. More than 120 firefighters blanketing Baker Canyon just after 10 a.m. when a fire sparked up in a mulch pile. The Santiago campgrounds and trailers were evacuated as a result. The fire did within 30 minutes. It did extend into the vegetation and we started aggressively attacking the fire. Helicopters and planes hovered over the flames dropping water and fire retardant all day. <laughs> On the ground, bulldozers were brought in by the truckload to try and stop the spread. Red flag warning was in full effect as fire watch crews looked on. They like to put us in some strategic spots where we have good access to the way the wind blows. Dozens of people pulled off the road to see the blaze for themselves. I'm listening to the scanner right now to see if they're containing it yet. We were actually driving to Temecula and we like saw the fire from the 22 and the 55, then we saw it again like up by the 91. We just decided we'd drop by and check it out. Diana Good was at a horse show when she heard her trailer in the canyon had to be evacuated. Most definitely concerned because the power is off. It's 93 degrees and it's very hot inside. And you had your dogs in there and cats. The dogs and cats were in the house. Thankfully, after only an hour, the animals were rescued by a volunteer member of the OC Sheriff's Department. She had uh, three dogs in a trailer and three cats, and they have no electricity up there. So we went and retrieved them. And we're told that one structure did sustain some damage. However, there were no injuries as a result of this fire, aside from one ankle that was sprained from a firefighter. He is currently getting that treated as we speak. They are hoping to make sure that this fire stays at below 100 acres tonight as it continues to burn through the mulch here. We're live in Silverado Canyon, Bobby Capel, CBS 2 News.